Okay, uh, today I'm going to show you the basics of uh, bullet physics animation in Blender. And bullet is uh, the physics engine that is included in Blender. And um, basically, physics is a good way to use Blender to um, create certain actions that might otherwise take you a very long time to animate if you use a, a basic uh, keyframe and motion method of animation. Um, it's best used for things um, that you know by the name include actual physics like uh, dropping a ball, having a uh, stack of something tumble down, and collisions, things of that, of that nature. So um, there are a variety of different um, things that you can do with the physics engine in Blender, but today I'm just going to focus on the very basic uh, rigid body animation um, and physics animation, which is basically um, the interaction of uh, two or more objects that are simulated in Blender as having a hard outside. Um, so in this case I'm going to be uh, sort of bowling in Blender by dropping a ball, a hard ball, on top of a, a group of ten cylinders that will be my pins. And um, so I'm going to show you how to simulate um, a ball being dropped on the pins in Blender. Uh, so first thing you have to know about physics is that you always need to have a floor of some sort for your objects to rest on, otherwise they will just fall and fall and fall and fall. Um, so you have to have a plane or or, uh, or a table or some sort of object. And um, in order to use the physics engine, you have to be um, in the Blender game mode, and that's basically in this drop-down menu. The normal mode is Blender Render, but you're going to want to go into Blender game mode, and that will give you the physics options that you need under the physics tab, which is the tab all the way to the right. Okay, um, so these are the um, default settings for physics for any object, and um, it's static, which just means it's not affected by gravity or any other occurrence. Uh, mass or gravity, wind, force field, anything, it's not affected by any of that, which is um, ideal for your floor, because if you added gravity influences to your floor, it would just fall through space. Um, so you want that to remain default. Okay, again, your floor is always going to be default. Um, and then moving on, you're going to want to set up the um, models for the actors in your scene that you're going to want to apply the physics to, um, in this case the pins and ball. And these are the, the um, settings you're going to want to apply to your physics. So under the physics type, we're going to change it from uh, static, which is the default, to rigid body, which tells Blender that the um, outside of the object is going to be hard. And you're going to want to make sure that this box is checked, actor, which means that um, Blender is basically including this object in the calculations for the physics. Um, also, you're going to want to go down here to collision bounds and check this box. And um, you're going to want to select the shape from this menu of whatever best fits the object that you're trying to apply the physics to. This basically makes it easier for Blender to tell how to um, calculate the physics as opposed to doing it, especially in a complicated object that has um, lots of vertices and faces. Um, it gives it a simpler shape to sort of apply the physics with. In, um, for instance, if you have a human head, you would um, choose something like a sphere or maybe a capsule, um, whatever best fits it. But in this case, since I'm using a cylinder, I'm going to check cylinder. And uh, do the same uh, layout for all of your pens. And then uh, moving on to the ball. The ball, um, same deal, we're going to choose rigid body. Make sure actor is checked. Go to collision bound and uh, select sphere instead of cylinder since obviously we're working with a sphere. And um, a few things I will also mention in this panel that um, that might be useful is uh, if you would like your object to be a part of the physics, but you would like it like other objects to be able to pass through them, you would check this uh, this ghost box, which basically lets lets objects pass through it like a ghost. Um, also, in in the case in which you may be using part of your animation as physics and part of it as keyframe based animation, you may need, um, say, some sort of invisible force to hit 
like if I had another bowling ball here and was making it come forward to hit these pins but I wanted the actual um, impact to come from above I would um, choose invisible for this ball that would make it seem like the ball that was here that was crashing into the pins was creating the uh, disruption instead of our physics enabled ball here so it makes it a little bit easier if you want to do something like that um, the invisible button okay but uh, we want this to be visible I want to see this ball crashing down so we're not going to click that okay so we should have everything set up and ready to go so when you have everything set up you're going to hit the P key on your keyboard to start the um, game engine and then you'll see what your physics do Okay, and there goes the ball crashing into the pins everything falls off the table into space Okay, and you watch that go as long as you want and hit the escape key when you're done and there you have it we'll watch it one more time and there we go ball into pins okay and so basically something like that which would have taken you know hours and hours to um, to uh, animate if you were using just the just manual keyframes and uh, motion will take all of uh, five minutes using the physics engine um, so now the next question how do you integrate this into your um, into your storyline into your timeline with with keyframes okay good question um, all you have to do is record the animation so the first thing you do go um, to the layout and move from default to the animation layout where you can see all your nice F curves and everything all the setup here um, you're going to go under the game menu and um, click record animation and that's going to tell Blender to uh, record the animation the next time that you play it so um, all you have to do is go back in this window hit P to start the game engine you'll see it zip on by hit escape when you're done and then uh, play your animation and when you hit play down here at the bottom you will see all these lovely keyframes and f-curves that came up for you and then uh, this and it, it actually gives you a keyframe an individual keyframe for every single frame uh, so you'll end up with a lot of keyframes but it will be a lot less work for you in the end and then of course you can always go into your f-curve editor and speed up or slow down the uh, the animation but that um, is a different tutorial all together the F curves all this lovely madness so um, for now that is our bullet physics animation and uh, I hope this was helpful to you um, please let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see thank you so much